Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you guys with another MLB main slate video. If you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. Um, and if you're returning and you forgot, you can do me a favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below on your way out. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel, the algorithms, all that good stuff gets new eyes on the channel. Um, I'm still recovering, guys. You can hear it in my voice. Um, I almost didn't do a video tonight. I'm just, this is just kicking me right right in the old prison pocket. So uh, I appreciate you guys that are tuning in. Um, what a weird slate, huh? Started off kind of rough. Uh, we ended up coming through on DraftKings. But uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys did great. And um, without further ado, let's start the freaking show. All right, guys. So yeah, hopefully you guys did uh, did good. It was a weird slate. All the pitchers uh, bombed. All the pitchers went out there and fucked the dog tonight. So uh, yeah, man. Everybody, everybody seemed like so. It was all done with bats. It's all good. And I know what you guys are thinking right now. Where where the hell is Schroeder at? How can you do a show without Schroeder? Well, I gotta I gotta right here. Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend, Schroeder Skywalker, he's here. He just wanted to say thank you to everyone also. And all, one more thing, guys. Down below, there's a, a little heart down there with a little thanks. It's a heart symbol with a thanks in the middle. You guys want to throw a couple bucks in the tip jar for us? That'd be awesome. Schroeder and I really appreciate it. And Schroeder told me he's up to, get this, 14 babies mamas. I let him outside for two days. Now he says he's got 14 babies, mamas, 85 kittens. Dude, you you really, you really, you got a serious problem. Again, you're giving me a run for my money. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys um, want to do that, put a couple bucks in the tip jar. Schroeder and I really appreciate it. It goes to the child support fund um, and uh, the me help getting over the, the COVID and fund and my child support fund shit i schroeder and i are neck and neck with that um yeah guys and once you do that you get a free not a free but you guys know what i'm talking about my mind is fucking you know my mind's always a piece of shit but throw in that i'm sick times it times 10 all right uh, but yeah, if you guys leave a couple of bucks in the tip jar, you get featured in the next video and you get a special comment from Schroeder and myself. And uh, let's check out yesterday's man. You guys keep 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 them coming, man. I love it. I appreciate it. First up was Chad Rink. He says, here's some scratch to buy some ivermectin. So truth be told, I did ask my doctor about ivermectin and uh, she's a. Uh, She's been with me like the whole way, you know, we've had our opinions about uh, COVID, what works, what doesn't work, um, but she says they won't let her do it. Can you guys fucking believe that shit? Like, ivermectin's been around forever. It, it's been used to cure malaria, but you can't get it. You can't get it. You know why? Because it works. That's why you can't get it. Meanwhile, you can get opioid, opioids, you can get pain pills like, like they're candy. But you can't get a harmless drug that'll actually get rid of the symptoms. You know what I'm saying? It's a malarkey. It's bullshit. So, yeah, Chad, there you go. That's why. <laughs> but thank you. I really appreciate the $10 dono. Schroeder appreciates it. Um, we got to buy other vitamins and stuff like that. So, unless, unless I know someone who has some, but I don't really know anybody who has ivermectin but yeah thank you so much brother really appreciate the ten dollar don't know and we got more guys jeremy ledet he says glad you're back good to see you and schroeder back man it feels good to be back man wait till we're 100 percent. wait till schroeder and i are 100 percent, man we'll keep bringing the entertainment and um schroeder will keep bringing new baby's mama's tales but thank you so much jeremy for the two dollar don't know we really appreciate it 
Same with Mr. Dave Barton. He says Skywalker at 60% is better than everybody else at 100%. It's great to see you and Schroeder back. We missed you. You know what, Dave? I missed you guys too. I'm coming back on earlier than I should because I really didn't want to come back until I gave you guys 110% of a show. I'll give you 110% of my picks, but the show, the show, the show, man, that's, that's what I pride myself on. So uh, thank you so much, Dave. You're very generous. I appreciate that. Um, and there's more. There's more. Uh, Chris, Mr. Harvey donates every damn video, man. Mr. Chris Harvey, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You're too generous. Thank you. Every video, every time, $2 super chat. Super thanks. Thank you so much, Mr. Harvey. Um, and last but not least, Jan Burfleen. Almost, you know, every video too. $5 uh, super thanks. Thank you so much, Jan. Schroeder and I really appreciate it. And uh, Schroeder, I don't know what to say, man. If we keep getting all these donos, I might have to take you in and get you fixed. You know what I'm saying? So there's no more babies, mama's issues. But yeah, Schroeder and I would like to say... Thank you very much, and uh, keep it coming, man. We really appreciate it. We love it, and um, yeah, you guys will get a special shout out in the next video. All right, buddy. So let's take a look. Let's bring this. Let's close this out. Let's take a look and see how we did today in the DFS Club. Let's bring up the Hall of Fame. We had some tennis winners. We had some MLB winners. Um. Did I close it out? Man, I closed out the wrong window. Let me pull it back up. Because, you know. All right. So let me pull up the Hall of Fame here. Top 25. Let's bring it up so you guys can actually see the damn thing. All right. So here we go. We ready to show them, Schroeder, how we did today? Let's go up to, oh, thank you. The 29th, so ZZ Jan, Jan Berf, uh, Belfin, who just who made the dono, came in eighth in tennis, won $50 here. Congratulations. Uh, TGG for life, my man here. Fourth place, won 40 bucks. This is either Madden or, uh, you know, <clears throat> it's got to be like a simulation game, but good job, man. Those are really hard to hit. And then my man, Hard Hitter, with the uh, 40, $49 don't know the other night, came in third here, won $555 in tennis, came in second here, won 400 and then came in fourth here, won 250 That's what's up, Hard Hitter, because we play every single damn sport. And then this was my cash line, did pretty good tonight, guys. Uh, 117 tonight was pretty good. Julio won six hundred dollars with it um yeah my sneaky call was garrett from uh arizona who ended up uh, going off man we gotta watch out for that kid in the future he's he's come up to the majors and has been doing some real damage but yes julio you are very welcome my friend um and then the bad guy 150 20 and 20 came in first third and third that's what's up my dude Julio says, held up, Sky. Thanks again. Let's get this huge ass slate tomorrow. Hard hitter says, good job, guys. Yeah, guys, so that's what we're doing, man. Again, we play every single sport up in here. And I had one commenter say, man, you really shouldn't talk shit about other providers, man. That's just, you know, I forget what the hell he said. I don't want to bring it back up, but it was it was one of the most ridiculous comments I've ever read um god forbid i keep everybody honest in the industry you know god forbid i do that but check it out guys this is the dfs club this is where you come to get all our lineups ownership projections all the top stacks the members only podcast space and i go live one hour before lock that's when the magic happens is when the lineups are made guys we're 14.99 a month this is why i talk shit shop around NFL's right around the corner, so these motherfuckers, these other guys, start licking their lips, rubbing their hands together, going, ooh, we're going to fuck these people. We're going to raise our prices. We're going to raise our prices, guys. We don't do that shit here at the DFS Club. 
you still get every single sport with us, guys. Every ting, every sport that DraftKings offers. You got two providers on one, DFS Space, my brother from another mother, myself, Skywalker DFS. And you get everything, NFL, MLB, PGA, NBA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, eSports, UFC, WNBA, college football, guys. All you got to do is click join now. It's very easy. And then you look at the slideshow, too. This is to show you guys we're the best in the business just because we're the cheapest. Don't get it twisted. Click join now. Make sure you click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, so I get credit. I really appreciate it. And we cover prize picks. We have uh, sports wagering also. And again, look at these prices. And this time of year, it always happens. They send their minions out to come talk shit on my channel. But guess what? You're going to get roasted every time. Because you can talk all the shit you want, but we're the best. We show we're the best every night. I prove it. I show what we're doing up in here. We got almost 600 members. My job is to win you money. If I'm not winning you money, you probably wouldn't be with the DFS club. I have a whole army in here that says that we do. And we're only $14.99 a month, guys. Our year passes right here, 149. That's what everybody's going to charge you for NFL this year for one month. Think about that. So tell those mother guys, Skywalker says you ain't shit and stop ripping people off. Come, come join the DFS club, guys. We've got three day passes, bronze, silver, gold plans. We can't beat, no one can beat these prices because we're the, we're the most honest, we're the most transparent, and we're the realest. And we got the best community out there, man. There's no drama in here. Because um, we all have one common goal, that's to get this fucking bread. And, uh, man, what a month of August we've been having. We got so much money now to play NFL DFS this season. So I had a, a NFL uh, draft today for one of my fantasy leagues. I think I got. I think I did okay. I, th- I got a B-plus rating, so I guess I did all right. But, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully... You guys have good luck with your fantasy football leagues this season. It's about that time of year where you start doing your drafts. Um, so good luck to you guys. But, yeah, come check us out. DFSclub.freakingcom. You guys like my hair? Look at my sides. I can't even go to a barber probably for another f- five days. Probably for another five days. It's not that there's, like, rules by the government. It's just preferably I want to make sure I test negative before I even leave the fucking house so I don't. I'm not one of those assholes and spreads this shit. So, yeah, guys, I apologize for my appearance. It's going to be rough, and it's going to be even rougher for the next probably uh, five videos. So, if you thought I wasn't ugly enough, I still ain't as ugly as my baby's mama. But, I mean, who the fuck is? You know what I'm saying? So, all right. So, let's get into the totals for tomorrow. Actually, today now, 2.30 in the fucking morning. First up, we got Oakland at Washington. Rain and humid, so keep our eyes, ears, and keep our legs open. Well, we should probably close our legs at this point with all the babies, mamas running around. Right, Schroeder? Uh, for the for the news on this weather, 4.3 for Oakland, 4.4 for Washington. We got Cole Irving against Eric Fede. Fede, Fede. Actually, both pitchers here don't look bad. Then we got the Cubbies at Toronto. Mostly cloudy, 75 degrees. Winds will be swirling at 10 miles an hour, 3.3 for the Cubs, 4.9 for Toronto. Marcus Braun Strowman against Kevin Gausman. Then we got Seattle at Detroit, partly cloudy, 78 degrees. Winds will be gusting out, though, 14 miles an hour, 4.4 for Seattle, 3.3 for Detroit. George Kirby vacuum against Matt Manning. Matt Manning's been really good. We'll get into that, though, but, yeah, it should be an interesting one there. Then we got the Dodgers. Yeah, it sounds like I, I, I'm talking like this with some of the. I hate that. I can't wait till my, my normal voice comes back. We got the Dodgers and the Mets. Partly cloudy, 79 degrees. Winds are blowing out at 14 miles an hour. Looks like great hitting weather here. 4 7 for the Dodgers. 4 for the Mets. We got Andrew Bobby the Brain Heaney against Taiwan Walker at 7 2. Then we got Colorado at. 
Atlanta, 83 degrees. Winds are blowing directly out to center field. Jose Urena against Max Freed. How can you not love Max in this spot here? And how can you not love uh, Atlanta? Yeah, looks like a looks like an Atlanta stack. Then we got Boston at Minnesota, 78 degrees. Winds blowing out at seven miles an hour. Um, this one actually delivered today on both sides. Um, Cutter Crawford against Chris Archer. This could be another interesting one to stack up too. Then we got Houston at the Texas Rangers. The battle for Texas. We got 4.4 for Houston, 3.3 for Texas. Framer Valdez versus Dane freaking Dunning. Then we got Kansas City at the White Sox. Clear, 76 degrees. Winds gusting out at 12 miles an hour. Brady Singer against Lucas Giolato. Um, like Singer here in this spot. And then, uh, yeah, good another good hitting weather game, man. Lots of ways to go on this slate. Then we got Pittsburgh at Milwaukee. Corbin Burns is a piece of shit. You know, even Corbin Burns at home goes out there. Instead of pitching against the Pirates, he goes out there and fucks the dog tonight. 72 degrees. Wind's blowing out at 11 miles an hour. We got Mitch Keller against Jason Alexander. Um, Yeah. <clears throat> the Milwaukee stack did all right, though. But, man, Corbin Burns, what a dick. Next up, we got the Yankees at the Angels. 81 degrees. Shout out to Aaron Judge. Got his 50th home run tonight. Um, had 100% of them. I don't mind going back to the Yankees again, man. It's a very hitter-friendly park. Going up against a shit pitcher here in Mike Mayers. The, the Yankees are going to rot with James Talion. The Talion. But, yeah, he don't look bad for 7-7. Um, then we got the Phils at Arizona. This one broke the slate tonight, boys. In the Dome, 4.1 for the Phils, 3.6 for Arizona. Aaron Nola against Zach Galeen. Huge pitchers duel here. I love both pitchers here. Zach Galeen hasn't given up a run in his last three outings. Then last but not least, we got San Diego at San Francisco. Clear 58 degrees, nine mile an hour winds blowing out, four for San Diego, 3.7 for the Giants. Blake Snell against Logan Webb. A couple uh, pitchers there, you know. And first look, as far as like stacking goes, I think Atlanta is going to be number one for me. Number two, man, it's hard, right? That's what she said, first of all. But, man, there's a, so many ways to go here for, for number two. I'd probably say the Yankees, number two. Atlanta, the Yankees. And then my third favorite stack. I'm going to go out on a limb. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say the Dodgers will be number three. Even though they, they're pretty much, you know, like, just look out for the pinch hits. And, you know, they're kind of being real careful with their team because they're already looking towards the playoffs. But I think they can rip up some a lot of runs here with 14-mile-an-hour winds blowing out, 80-degree weather. Yeah, the Dodgers look pretty damn good. That's my number three stack for, for this slate. All right, so let's get into the individual plays. We'll bring up draft dashboard. Hopefully they have the right fucking matchups tonight for fuck's sake. All right. So position optimizer. Here we go. 12 games and uh normal start time today. Today for uh draft games was early. First up, we got Aaron Nola, 10.6 K going up against Arizona. Coming off a phenomenal game, pitched nine innings, pitched a full game, got 48 draft kings points. Um Last time against Arizona, got a 20-burger. I do like him. Probably not my favorite on the slate, but I do like him. Framer Valdez is 10.1K against them Texas Rangers, man. He's done really well against them. 32, 27, 19, 27, 22. Yeah, you got to really consider him today. It's a very pitcher-friendly park. Doesn't give up a lot of hard contact. And he'll go deep in the games. His last three games... Excuse me, he pitched seven innings each single, each and every game, each single. Fuck, why can't I say it fucking right? Son of a bitch. I'm going to try and keep it together. I'm going to try, all right? 
Next up, Max Freed, probably my favorite play on the slate. 9.9K gets the Colorado Rockies on the road. Rockies on the road. And Max Freed, man, he's pitched six, seven, and eight innings in his last three. 15, 25, 32. Um, yeah, and he gets a, a road team or road team. So I just give up right now. I mean, geez, my all the gaffes tonight. Every time I have a gaff, you guys should take a shot. Make it a drinking game or something. I don't know. It's a Tuesday night, but, you know, what have you. Zach Galeen, 9.7K. Again, three straight games now. Just no runs given up. Gets Philadelphia. You know, it's a real scary matchup. Philly put up a lot of runs tonight. They have a very dangerous offense, especially with Bryce Harper back. Um, 9.7K. I think you got to consider it, though. I'll always take good pitching against uh, a dangerous lineup. And he's at home. He pitches really good at home. So we'll see what the ownership is, but I kind of like that. Then Andrew Bobby the Brain Heaney going up against the Mets, 9.6K. The Mets are really cold right now. And he finally pitched six innings last game. So they might be stretching them out for the playoffs. Total opposite effect with the other guys that have been playing all year, but he hasn't played all year. So GPP only is always a risk that he'll pitch under six innings for you FanDuel players. So, but it's a pretty good matchup against the Mets, man. And he's been striking out people like crazy. Blake Snell, play at your own risk. He's 9.3K, but whenever I play this motherfucker, I get a negative one. But he's in play at 9.3, but good fucking luck to you. Then we got Brady Singer against the White Sox, 8.9K. I like the price tag here. He's gone down a couple hundred bucks. 27, 4, and a 35, 8, and a 29. And his last five against the White Sox, Brady Singer's been great this year, man. I like the price tag. Kevin Gosman going up against some Cubbies, man. 8.7K at home. 25 and a 39 in his last two against them. Um, it's just the Cubs just ain't doing nothing, right? So I don't mind the Kevin Gosman play here. There's just so many good, good pitching plays today. George Kirby going up against Detroit. Looks really good at 8.5K. Seven innings last game, 27 DraftKings points. 20 DraftKings points before that. Lowest he's gotten in his last five is 18 and 16. So for 8-5 against Detroit, I really like this play. George Kirby. Cole Irving against Washington looks really good. Um, just beat up the Marlins. Pitched seven innings. Got 36 DraftKings points. He's okay. I like the George Kirby play better, but he is $600 cheaper. Lucas Giolato is fine against Kansas City. 8.2K is not too bad. Um, I like them better in that 7K range like he's been. 21, 16, negative 4, 13, 23 in his last five against Kansas City. He's all right. I mean, if he could squeak out a 20 burger, that'd be great at that price tag. And then James Talion. Sounds like Papillon, 7.7K against the Angels who do strike out a lot. However, their power hitters like Trout, Otani, Renfringo, like these guys have been hot. So just hope the strikeouts still come through. They lit up Frankie Montas. Frankie still pitched six innings, though, but they get my hell of a time tonight. But James Talion, I think he's worth a look at 7-7, right, Schroeder? He's looking at him, props up. Next up, Matt Manning. So I want to talk about him for a second. 6.7K going up against the, uh, Seattle. 31 and a 23 in his last two. It's like, remember when he was like 5'5", five, 5'4"? Five, five, Everyone's like, who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? Seven and six innings, too, in his last two. I kind of like taking a shot here. Matt Manning, probably get him at super low ownership. 6'7 on DraftKings. FanDuel, they got him priced up where he should be. He's $2,100 more over there. DraftKings, I think you take a shot here. That's too cheap. You can take a shot with Eric Fede at 5.7K against Oakland. Now, don't play him on, on FanDuel because he won't pitch six. He, he pitches five innings. DraftKings, if he can get 10 or more fantasy points at 5.7, I think you're golden. I think he can do it against Oakland too. So, yeah, give me Eric Fede at 5.7. And then for catchers, 
One really stuck out to me. That's Salvador Perez. He's faced Giolato 28 times, guys. Three home runs, five singles, two doubles. So, you know he's going to play. Catchers, most of them, you really don't know if they're going to play, but Salvi looks pretty good. He's had a lot of looks there. A lot of looks against Giolato. Let's go to first base. Shoyo Otani, 6.3K. Against Talion, he's two for seven, two home runs. So, I don't mind going back. You guys want to do a little angel stack to be different? I don't mind it. He's 6-3. Mark Mathias, 2K for Texas, man. Guy's been clutch. 8-24, 16-5 in his last four. For bare minimal, if you're looking to punt, he's first and second base eligible. So, if you want to punt at second base, that's your dude, Mark Mathias. And then for my Atlanta stack, give me Matt Olson at 5-1. He's 3-4 for four against Urania. Urania is the worst pitcher on the slate. So, Atlanta, do your thing. All right, just do your fucking thing. Don't, don't fuck us. Don't get us in the prison pocket, please. Let's go to second base. Colton Wong, 3.1K. You can go back to Milwaukee again, man. They're so cheap. Um, and he's going up against Keller, who's a righty. He's a righty crusher. And then let's go to third base. Austin Riley's fine, although he's 0 for 7 against Urania. That's pretty bad. I think even Schroeder can get a hit off Urania. But he's 5-5. If you're going to stack Atlanta, is he a must? I don't know. It depends on who you ask. But um, I think you definitely got to consider it. You got to consider it. There's value if you want to stack him with another team. Tons of value, especially this time of year. You got Gio Ursula at 2.8K. He's been turning it up, and it's about fucking time. 15, 11 in his last two. Minnesota's kind of doing better, too. They put up some runs tonight, so you're going to do a Minnesota stack? Gio Ursula, 2.8. Doesn't look too bad. And then a one-off for Detroit. I kind of like Yemir Calderario. I, I totally butchered the shit out of that, but. 23, 25, 11 in his last three. He's on fire right now. So for bare minimal, you want to putt there? 2K. Third baseman. Candelario. Candelario, sorry. There we go. Short stop, because we won't stop. And we can't stop with Willie Adonis, 5K. 15, 10, 16, 7, 30 in his last five. Phenomenal. And he gets another phenomenal matchup against Keller. He's 4 for 9 against him. 444 average. It's a lot of fours. It's a lucky number. OPS versus Kelleher, 1.444. That's that's a screaming luck here. One single, two doubles, one homer. Love Willie Adonis at 5K, especially with all them fours. That's just good luck. Dansbury Swanson Stake, he's 5.3K. Atlanta Stack, yeah. O'Neal Cruz has been on fucking fire. Hell, if you guys want to do a, a tiny little Pittsburgh stack, like I don't, I don't mind it. O'Neal's only four K, twenty and a ten. He got another home run tonight, um, and he's facing all righty. So Pittsburgh's one of them teams, man. They're like, we're gonna play spoiler. We got nothing to lose. Let's just go out there and win every fucking game. Corey Seager is a one off for five four. He gets a lefty. We love him against lefty. Even against Valdez, he's decent. Four for 17 average. Four for 17 average. Son of a bitch. Let's try that again. We're Let's, let's do it. I ain't got time to edit this shit. <sighs> Schroeder. Help me out here, Schroeder. Five for 12 against Valdez. Four singles, one triple, guys. Seager for 5-4. Sure. I definitely not liking a Texas stack against him, but I do like Seager as a one-off against lefties. Mike Trout's 5-7. His price is starting to slowly come up. I still say he's too cheap. He should be about 6K or more. You can stack him with Otani. He'll be just fine. Kyle Tucker, he's only 4.5K. He gets Dane Dunning, who he's 3 for 8 against. Two singles, one home run. OPS versus righties, 914. So, yeah, give me some Kyle Tucker. Michael Harris, you're going to do an Atlanta stack. He's 4 2. 
He's been so solid, man. 14, 5, 18, 11, 7. You want to do a, a wraparound stack? There you go. Michael Harris is second. Aaron Judge, you think he's going to get 51? Yeah, man, put him in. One for one against this pitcher. I think he keeps it rolling, boys. Eloy Jimenez has a one-off. 3.8K. He's 7 for 13 against Singer, but they're all singles. Seven singles. He's due for a jack. Eloy's not been as good as he normally potentially is this year, but 3.8K. He's 7 for 13 against them. He's due, man. Get him in there at 3.8 as a one-off. And that's it for the one-offs, guys. So tomorrow's pretty com- cut and dry for myself. But you know what? It's time. For your favorite part of the video and mine, it's time for none other than Schroeder's picks. Schroeder's going to give us his three home run calls, man. Yeah, I know. I'll tell him. Schroeder says, don't forget. Come join the DFS club, you guys. He says, we're the cheapest in the industry. We don't raise our prices for football because we're not assholes. All right? He says, you're damn right. We're the realest. We're the best. DFSclub.com. Click join now. Click my logo so I get credit. Pick your plans, and you guys are in. It's that easy. Welcome to all the new members today. Um, Schroeder. Who's your first home run call? You nailed it with Aaron Judge yesterday. Who you got? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll let him know. All right. So, Shorter's first home run call before he dips out right there. He says it's none other than Dansbury Swanson Steak. All right. That's a that's kind of an odd one, but all right. He thought he'd do a hit and run. Good job, Schroeder. All right, dude. So who's your second home run call? Who do you got? He's here. He hears one of his baby's mamas out there. Second one? Yeah? Well, you ain't going outside. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna do it again. All right. Schroeder's second <laughs> home run call. That's all he cares about. That's all he fucking cares about. He's a pig, Schroeder. There's more to life than that, you know? Schroeder's second home run call is going to be none other than Willie Adonis. Hey, all right, we can get with that. All right, Schroeder, but here's where we really need you, buddy. We really need you here. Who's not going to get us just one home run? Who's going to get us two and break the entire fucking slate and bring it down? Who's going to get us two home runs? Okay. Get your, get your hand off my face. Oh, okay. Wow, a catcher, huh? Schroeder's third home run call, who he says is going to get us not one, but two home runs. He says, throw it up. Two home runs is going to be Salvador Perez. All right. I can dig that. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you guys so much again. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. And if you're returning... Uh, and if you haven't done it yet, please do us a solid. I'll try and get better, get my voice back, get my hair back, get my looks back. Look at him. He's all trying to get away. Look at this. Look at this cat. You're not going outside, buddy. So I know I want my salmon treats. And if you got, if you guys are so kind, leave a couple bucks in the tip jar down below. There's a heart that says thanks in it. If you want to leave a super thanks in there, if I've ever helped you win money, or if you just feel generous and you want to help out Schroeder and I with our child support, with our COVID, we, we're a mess over here, all right? We're a fucking mess. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the show, man. Again, once I start to feel better, this one had a little bit more energy than yesterday's. Every day, man, I'm, 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 I'll get there. I'll get there. So we'll get the show back on the road. Hopefully I can, we can make you guys laugh. I'm Gabriel Skywalker. This is Schroeder Skywalker. What do we say, Schroeder? Now let us get the fuck out of here. Schroeder and I will see you tomorrow. Y'all take care. We out, y'all.